Hello and welcome to Geek Corner and today I'm going to talk about Black Clover. Now this will be my Black Clover arc review. I'm going to review each arc from now on to to cut up with the the new arc both in the anime and then later on with the manga. I d we don't know at the moment if the Black Clover anime will continue on after the episode 102 because we haven't gotten any news if the this season will get renewed or if they will get a break because right now they are literally one season behind the manga so for sure hopefully we'll get the uh, news about that but i will of course talk about it now i will do this review in english because i have noticed that there are a lot more people internationally that likes black clover here in sweden black clover is a sleeper it is quite the underdog but quite many people do enjoy it a lot so i will talk about the first arc which is the presentation arc of the the story and the character of Juno and Asta, of course. Now, Black Clover is interesting, to say at least, because if you would compare it to, like, say, Naruto or Fairy Tail or Dragon Ball, <coughs> I think that Black Clover actually has one of the shortest first arc of all shonen manga and anime, because do you realize how many how long it is actually the first arc it is literally only 10 chapters it means that Tab the author of black clover tabata made his first arc only 10 chapters short now the anime expanded to 13 episodes so quite there you can understand that not many people like the slow pace because it would be literally like one chapter or like a half chapter per episode or even less than that so yeah and i remember seeing the first episode of black clover and i did enjoy it because it has a quite high production and then later on you get to know that oh episode two and three was also very much a repeat or a filler so much so that it nearly killed its presentation debut now Black Clover has risen up from the from the obscurity, and even though with the limited I mean, animation, it with its pure poor schedule time, the animator are really really devoted to Black Clover, and you can see that they are experimenting with new animation and art style, and it works. Now, if you would compare Black Clover from the beginning with the you know. The voice actor had a problem to control understanding his role as the main character to the animation and art style to how they would choreograph the the action and all that i mean one of the great thing of black clover is its music in the anime its music is top notch it's like up there with bleach and naruto in my in my in my taste um I do think that Black Clover is truly an underdog. I don't think it's overhyped. I think it is appreciated because it has fought up all the criticism, all the bullshit it has gone through, and it still is properly, uh, proper. People appreciate it for what it is. It is a true shonen with great character, great storytelling, with great action, and sure it has a lot of cliche but it does it well to get it unique i mean black clover must be the best anime of shonen that has one of the best char female character of all time you have noel you have uh, mary oleona you have many other characters that are very good everyone is well written and you have great comedy as well sure some comedy scene are not as good but yeah Anyway, if I would go on with the first arc. The first arc in the chapter was with the introduction, with the backflash, and then after it, it was directly to the Magic Knight entrance exam. And it expanded to from that to the Black Bull's introduction base, to the first mission, 
protect the, the small village and then to the the first day in the castle town now there is the first arc end before the dungeon exploration arc and what can i say about this arc this half start of the arc was slow and then you get in the middle with the magic knight and you get the more world building of the the society the v divided section and you get like oh wow black clover is much more smart at, is much more smart about its uh, how things looks and that so yeah i i do still believe that black clover has a long way to go um is it worth to read is it worth to to see the anime i say this if you can you watch the first episode then you skip the the episode two and three and then you watch episode four then you're all good because then you go you caught up with everything else anyway that's my that's my read the manga is super short it's only 10 chapter the first arc now if i would compare it to naruto with the the prologue with the way the land of the wave it's literally the formation and then to the completion of the first mission and it's going spans through one to four volume one to volume four now that's 33 chapters it's impressive and it's literally from episode one to episode 19. so black clover had from episode one to episode episode 13 meanwhile naruto had from episode one to episode 19. so yeah black clover is more fast paced but yeah you, you ha it has some some downfall and some up up to it so yeah anyway this has been my short review about Black Clover story arc, the first arc right now. I will do dungeon exploration arc later on and we'll talk about what I think about it, what is a good thing and all of that. And still I have high, high respect for Black Clover for all it's done and I do hope that we will get more Black Clover in the future because the anime needs to be bigger and what it is black clover is literally what bleach wished it was a great action anime and a great shonen overall anyway this has been ivan from geek corner i hope you have a good day and see you next time ciao